Hi friends, today we are bringing you another new jackfruit variety that we have never tasted before. This is called Mai 3, M-A-I, Mai 3. And uh, supposedly it's from Thailand. It was brought many, many years ago by fruit collectors and it's been a very popular variety of jackfruit here in Florida. This particular fruit uh, was gifted to us by our friend Frank in Delray Beach. He goes by the name FL Native in Tropical Fruit Forum. And um, uh, we saw his tree. It's, um, it's not a huge tree like people are scared of jackfruit trees. I think he keeps it trimmed to around 10 feet, 12 feet height. And looks very cute and nice tree in his small yard in the front. So I think, and the fruit, most of the fruits that were hanging were not very huge size, which I like actually. I like small, and the smell is, intense we think this is an orange flesh uh, jackfruit but we don't know we're trying it for the first time we already tried bangkok lemon which was a yellow one and uh, we tried j31 which was also yellow so let's see this one just as a precaution i will use a little bit of oil i don't know whether it, how much latex it's going to have first cut the top part and just the outside of it looks like spiky but it's actually very soft and it's smelling already i hope it's not uh, overripe we had a long day today we were traveling a lot up north and then fruit hunting fruit tree hunting adventure so when we came back home it was already uh, evening almost dark and wow it's like a it's like a deep orange color I can already see. It's very easy to cut because it's small. Let me see if I can actually cut it like this. Some do get like this very easily. There are some jackfruit that can be. Looks like this one will not come as easily. But I'll try it from the other side because it's halfway already there. And then I'll cut the middle portion. Okay, it looks like a deep orange flaced jackfruit. And not much of the latex. See, I can easily peel with my hand. So I don't consider it uh, much latex. A little bit of latex will always be there. But if you can peel it with your hand, look, this is very like a watery latex. It's not like a gluey latex. Oh, let's try the fruit it's deep orange up here and then it gets a little bit lighter orange paler orange down mm. very crunchy sweet crunchy less less of a bubblegum like flavor like typically jackfruit have this bubble gum, bubble gum flavor that it doesn't have but it's sweet and crunchy also not much of the lemony flavor that Bangkok lemon had but it has its own sweet fruity flavor Frank uh, also gave us another of uh, just to sample another of his jackfruit uh, called orange crush and that was also deep orange color like this it, it was also crunchy very similar in taste to this my three my three jackfruit both are crunchy and it seems like they don't go bad he was showing us a jackfruit that was kept in freeze for more than a week almost like 12 13 days and it was still crunchy it wasn't really mushy and soft usually jackfruits do that when they're stored so overall very tasty jackfruit crunchy as well and most important thing about jackfruit what people don't like is that it's very messy but this one looks like it's easy to take out and there's not much of the latex either in terms of the seed, seeds are small, so you do have a lot of less fiber wise there there is quite significant fiber it's not that there is no fiber 
there is fiber but the flesh is also a lot of flesh in this small um, fruit so overall very satisfying experience eating this my three my um, jackfruit <laughs> and the most important thing for us was that it was it's less messy there is not much i'm touching it here i don't feel that there is any latex beautiful color if you are into colors very beautiful color of the flesh and um, small fruit so it's not like giant few fruit that you have to like be uh, heavy to carry or anything it's very cute small fruit and sweet crunchy nice, nice refreshing taste if you just had one spot we have a couple of spots and I think I will put both uh, I, I I'd like different uh, flavor jackfruit so Bangkok lemon for sure for me would be there uh, orange flesh jackfruit is also something I would like to have because it looks nice and it's not it's um, it's easy to peel that's that's very important jackfruit good cheek doesn't like seeds you can a lot of controversy online about jackfruits don't come true to seed and uh, you have to have a grafted tree i think from many experts who have been growing jackfruit they have told me that seed grown jackfruits taste exactly if not the same better than the grafted ones but there are many differences as the ones grown from seeds they will be more vigorously growing they will grow up very fast versus the grafted one they will not have that vigor as a seedling tree has uh, seedling tree um, a grafted tree could be, be grafted on a rootstock that's more resistant to occasional frost down here in Miami or up north so that's another advantage but taste wise many people have told that the seedling trees fruit taste almost the same that they are not able to tell which one is from the seedling which one is from the grafted tree so uh, if you have space and uh, for a big tree because seedling tends to grow big very fast and I think I think it's good because the fruits are so big I don't think you want to hold the two-year-old small tree to small grafted tree to hold the fruit I, I think you would want it to grow at least 10 feet 12 feet tall and then hold uh, a fruit as big as this you, if you have seeds you can sprout and have a tree for yourself so hope you enjoyed the video and uh, hope we will have more jackfruit to taste and share with you the tasting experience and um, if there is any any questions that you have about the taste of the fruit or the size of the tree or the tree itself because we did look at the tree and how it's growing do ask us in the comment section and we'll let you know thank you very much